Today I'm going to show you how to create this cinematic text reveal effect in Premiere Pro. And for those of you that have After Effects, later in the video I'll show you how to dynamically link Premiere and After Effects to do this automatically. Okay, so here is our source clip of this woman walking on the beach, and we're going to have our text reveal as she's walking across the screen. So here is our text, nice bold yellow, but you can see here she is behind our text. So in our text layer, if we come down to where it says text, we're going to select the pen tool and draw a box around our text. Now you can see our text is still visible, so we're going to come across to the invert button and select that. Next step is to keyframe our mask, so we're going to come across to the stopwatch button next to mask path and select that. Now we can move forward a few frames, and now we just adjust our mask to fit just as the woman's walking past it. So slide forward a few more frames and adjust the mask. And now I'm going to speed this part up, but you get the gist of it. You basically just want to be as accurate as you can following the back of the woman. All right, let's take a look at that. I could have picked a clip where she walked a bit faster. But I think that looks pretty good. And that's how you do the text reveal effect in Premiere Pro. Now for you After Effects users, I'm going to show you how to link the two softwares together and use an effect called rotoscoping to do this much faster. Alright, so we can remove our keyframes for our text and take it back to how it was before. Just delete those. There are a few ways to do this. The most basic one is just to duplicate the source footage and mask around the woman, which we're going to do here. So what you do is right click on your layer and select replace with After Effects composition. This will open After Effects, choose where you want to save it. And now one thing I should have mentioned before is that to have the woman walking left to right, I had to flip the clip in Premiere. So this has brought in the original source footage where she's actually walking right to left. So double click on your layer here and that will take us to the individual layer view. And now on the top left bar, you'll see this person with a paintbrush icon. This is the rotoscoping tool that we're going to use. So select this. And now it's as simple as drawing over your subject you want to mask out. And After Effects will automatically select it for you. And there you go. You can see the After Effects is selected around our subject. Hit spacebar and After Effects will track it forward. And then it, after it's finished forward, it'll go all the way back. And here we can see it's done a pretty good job of masking out our subject. Now we jump back into Premiere, and as I mentioned before how I horizontally flipped the source footage, we're just going to add that effect right back onto our top layer. You won't need to do this effect, I just did this for the sake of this tutorial video. And there we go, let's have a look at that. And you can see how good it looks with the rotoscoping effect. Cool, so you can see the accuracy of the mask is pretty good. So now we're just going to want to make the text reveal as she's walking across the screen. I'm going to add a mask, make it nice and big. Because After Effects has done the heavy lifting with getting the mask as accurate as possible, all we need to do here is create a really simple one that's just going across with our woman. No need to get really detailed and specific with our mask placement on this one. So this one can just follow her along from her head to her feet. So we'll keyframe our start, and because again we don't have to be so accurate, we can just do the start keyframe and the end keyframe. So we'll drag our clip across to where our woman's towards the end, move our mask across, and have a look at that. And so those are two ways to do a text reveal effect, one in Premiere and one linking with After Effects. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe to the channel for more video editing tutorials.